Hello, how are you doing today? I'm good, how are you? I'm good. I'm Kylie. I'll be your student nurse today. So the first thing I'm going to check is your name and your date of birth. I'm Ashley Hero, April 5th, 2003. Perfect. Um, are you on your pain today? No. Perfect. So today we'll be doing a neurological exam. So I'm just going to be having you do a couple of movements, checking your cranial nerves, so your eyes, um, having you do a couple of like, skills. Is that okay with you? Yes. Perfect. Have you had a history of um, off balance or any weakness on each side of your body? No. Okay. The patient is alert, communicative, like in color, and looks like stated age. So, um, I'm going to just ask you a couple questions. So, uh, where are you at today? I'm in the doctor's office. No, like where are you at? Like here. Oh, like in my apartment. Yeah. <laughs> um, what day of the week is it? Oh, it's oh Thursday. Okay, okay perfect. Um, well, consciousness, so the eye opening response is a four, the verbal response is a five, and the motor response is a six for the doctor's on the scale. Now I'm going to just have you stand up for me. And I'm just going to go this way. And I'm going to turn around. And we're just going to walk. I'm going to have you walk just normally. Okay. Perfect. So I'm going to turn around and then walk back the other way. Perfect. Okay, you can go ahead and have a seat. Mm -hmm. So the stride was steady, disability was balanced. Um, the arm swing was going in opposite directions, um, and the posture was upright. Now I'm going to um, test your reflexes. So I'm just going to use this. So <laughs> you should like, you know, thing. Yeah. Oh, there we go. So, um, the patella reflex was a negative Kavinsky, um, the strength, and it was symmetrical on both sides. Now I'm going to have you uh, lay back for me on the pillow. Do you mind if I take off your dog? No. Do I? Okay. 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 Can you see back a little bit more? Yes. Okay. So I'm going to try to get the feet up. So I'm going to do this. Perfect. Okay. So this is a negative reflex. The toes flex um, and plantar and curled up. Um, and they're symmetric on both sides. Um, you can go ahead and sit up for me. Um, now I'm just going to have you stand straight up. And I'm going to have you close your eyes and you're just going to stay in place for 20 seconds. Okay, perfect. Um, that was the Romberg test. The patient was able to stand in place for 20 seconds without any um, swaying of the arms or movement. So now, can you hop in place or do you have like a weakness? Okay. okay, so I'm going to have you take one and then hop in place. Perfect. And then take the other one, do the same thing. Perfect. The, cerebral fun the cerebellar function was intact. The patient was balanced on both sides. Now you can go ahead and have a seat. Um, now I'm going to have you lay back for me. And I'm going to test your um, sharp and dull reaction. So I'm going to test it. So I'm going to just tell you who this is. No, it's fine, it's fine. We can wait a little bit. Okay. Oh my god, bro. This is great. It's fine. Okay, so I'm going to show you what sharp is and what dull is. I'm going to have you close your eyes and see which is one. Okay. So this is sharp, okay. and then this is dull. Okay, so can you just close your eyes for me? Okay, and then just every time I touch you, say if it's sharp or dull. Sharp. You can go ahead and sit up. So the patient was able to distinguish between sharp and dull stimuli. And yeah, so now I'm going to assess your cranial nerves. 
So um, the first one is all fats. So we already had a change in smell recently. Yeah. Okay, so crayon number one is intact because the patient did, has not had a change in sense of smell. Um, crayon number two is optic. So if we had a smelling chart, the patient would stand 20 feet away and cover one eye, keep the glasses and contacts on, and would breathe to the lowest line possible, and then switch eyes and breathe to the lowest line possible, and then uncover both eyes and breathe to the lowest line possible. Um, the vision should be 20-20. If it's over 20-30, then they should be referred to a specialist. So now I'm going to do the mirror vision test. So I'm going to have you um, just read this line for me. You what? Have to put this one. Yeah. Whatever sip counts. Okay, perfect. So the mirror vision um, test was intact because the patient was able to read the 14 inch font without any adjustment of the paper. Now I'm going to assess three, four, and six. So I'm going to do a, here, I'm going to switch your eyes. So um, the pupils are about a three. Um, they're equal, they're round. So I'm just going to have you look over my shoulder. So direct, and then consensual. And then I'm have the same thing with the other eye, look over my shoulder. Direct. And then consensual. So the pupils react act to light. And then I'm going to just for comfort. So I'm going to have you follow this pen light um, with just your eyes. Perfect. The patient's eyes are able to converge and cross inward. Now I'm going to. So then I'm going to just have you clench your face and on the side. Perfect. So it's measured on both sides and the patient had a string, so she's able to do it. Both the strings. Um, then I'm going to test your Okay. Well I'm just gonna do sharp and dull again. So I'm gonna just have you close your eyes and tell me so So this is sharp, uh, sharp and this is dull. Sharp. Dull. No. Sharp. Mm -hmm. Dull. 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 Sharp. Mm -hmm. Dull. Okay. So the patient was able to distinguish between it. Um, oh, wait. I'm going to do it like this time. That's the one. Okay. So it was intact, and the patient was able to um, distinguish sharp or, or dull. So crayon of number um, five is intact. Now I'm going to do facial, so I'm going to have you smile for me, frown for me, puff your cheeks, um, raise your eyebrows, and squeeze your eyes shut. Perfect. The patient was able to, it was symmetric on both sides, they had strength, and so the cranial nerve number seven is intact. Eight is acoustic, so I'm going to have you stand up for me. Turn around. Perfect. I'm going to have you cover one ear, and I'm going to whisper, I'm going to say a word, and I'm just going to have you whisper, uh, say what it is. Okay. Pineapple. Perfect. And then with the other ear, Lego. <laughs> Lego. Perfect. Okay, you can go ahead and have a seat. So the cranial nerve number eight is intact, which would be acoustic, because the patient was able to repeat back the word. Um, with clear. So now, from nine is okay. So glossopharyngeal and vagus. So I'm going to have you. Do you have a gag reflex? Yes. Okay. Well, I'm going to figure out and make you say ah. Okay. Uh, okay. Perfect. So the pump, the uvula moved up to the midline, and the tonsils and the soft palate were also present. And they also move. Um, so the cranial nerve number 10, 9 and 10 are intact. So cranial number 11 is spinal accessory. So I'm going to have you, so this is the trapezius, I'm going to have you plunge your shoulders up for me. Perfect. And then I'm going to have you move to the side for me. Perfect. And then to the other side. Perfect. So the trapezius and the sternocleidomastoid muscles are intact. They symmetric on each side and the strength and has strength. Number 12 is hypoglossal. So I'm going to just have you move your tongue left to right, up, down, 
perfect. The patient was able to move their tongue, um, move symmetric, um, and move the midline, and they're gonna have you say light, tight, dynamite. Light, tight, dynamite. Perfect. The patient's speech is clear, and yeah. Anything else I can help you with today? Nope. Perfect, have a great day. Hi, how are you? I'm good, how are you? My name is Mackenzie, I'm going to be your student nurse today. Were you able to eat or anything? Yes. Hand sanitizer. Okay, how are you feeling today? Are you in any pain? No. Okay, awesome. Um, can I see your wristband? Um, can you verify your name and date of birth? Molly Miller, August 7, 2003. Okay, awesome. And then can you tell me where you're at right now? I am at Tom Holmes. Okay, and then do you know what day it is? It is Tuesday. Okay, awesome. So what I'm going to do today, actually I'm going to, patient is um, pink. Um, she is alert and oriented. She, um, yeah, she's alert and oriented and she's healthy. So what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna do a neurology exam. What I'm basically gonna do is I'm going to um, test some um, cranial nerves and I'm also going to do some touching and feeling to make sure that everything is working the way it's supposed to. Is that okay? Yes. Okay. Um, do you have any um, former head traumas or injuries or any type of thing like that? I had a concussion probably like six years ago. Okay. Do you have any like residual effects from that concussion? No. Okay. Um, do you have any issues with like jumping or hopping or anything like that? No. Okay. So what I'm going to have you do is I'm going to have you stand up. Um, we're going to walk, so if you can, just go ahead and walk. Okay, awesome, you can go ahead and turn it up. Okay, so I'm going to say that her stride is upright, her stability is stable, and her arm swing is um, equal and normal. So what I'm going to have you do next is I'm going to I'm going to have you do two tests. So one of the tests I'm going to have you do is I'm going to have you stand with your feet together, your arms to your sides, and then I'm going to have you close your eyes and I'm going to count for 20 seconds. Okay, and then after the 20 seconds, I can say that her test is negative so that she is this nerve is intact. And then the other test I'm gonna have you do is I'm gonna have you walk heel to toe. So like a straight line, heel to toe. Okay, perfect. So I can also say that she is stable um, so that this nerve is also intact. So you're all good. Um, next, I'm gonna have you put your feet up. Actually, I like, I'm gonna have you put your feet here and I'm going to go ahead and check for reflexes. So what I'm gonna do is actually turn this over. It might be easier. Because I'm going right side, so that might be easier. All right. And I'm gonna check for your reflexes. I hope it works. Okay, yeah. Sorry. So I would say that there's no response in this one, and then that one is a one, so it's not equal, but we're just going to do that. And then the next test I'm going to do is I'm going to have her feet up here, and I'm going to take your socks. Do you want me to take your socks off? Let's do it. Okay. I'm going to test for a Babinski test. And so I'm going to do, can you see her feet? Okay. I'm going to do this but first. Okay, there was tiny movement. It wasn't that tiny, so I'm gonna keep this butt. No movement. Okay. There was tiny movement, but not quite. So I would say that they were not equal, but there was some movement in that one and not in that one. Okay. Okay, after that, I'm gonna move on to the cranial nerve. So the first cranial nerve I'm gonna do is, you can go ahead and sit up. I'm going to do her olfactor cranial nerve. So have you had any issues with or loss of smell? No. 
Okay, so then there's her cranial nerve. Her first cranial nerve is intact. Um, next, I'm gonna do her second cranial nerve and it's gonna do sight. So I would do a Snell's test, so she would stand 20 feet away from a chart and she would read with one eye closed, her best ability, the other eye closed, and then she would do both. And if she would get 20-20, she'd be fine. If it was 20-30, then we refer to an eye specialist. The second one, I would have her read something about 12. I don't have a thing for her to read. You can read my badge. She's gonna read my badge. And she's gonna read it without adjusting, and if she can't, then um, she did not pass that test. So you can read that one right there. Okay. Unique and inventive contributions. Okay, so then I would say that that cranial nerve is intact on both of them. And then since I draw something, I'm gonna sanitize my hands. Sanitize my hands. Um, next, we're going to go ahead and do the Perla test, which is gonna be pupil and size, equality, um, react to light, and then adaptation. So what I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and check her pupil. And note the size. So I go ahead and say that her pupils are seven millimeters, both are equal, um, both the same size, so that is fine. And then next I'm going to check um, the reaction to light. So I'm going to do the first eye first, and then I'm going to go ahead and do the second eye, but I'm going to check the other eye. And I'm going to do it on both sides. Okay, so they were both symmetrical. They both constricted at the same time, so that was good. And next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold the light, and then I'm going to have you watch it follow in as much as you can. Okay, so both her eyes converged and constricted, so that would be good. Next, what I'm going to have you do is I'm going to have you follow the pen, so I'm going to go in the cardinal direction. So it's gonna go this way, this way, this way. Okay. I think I'm closer to you. Okay, so she was able to do that. So then I would say that those cranial nerves were intact. They were symmetrical. Um, after that, I'm gonna go ahead and test for um, rough and dull stimuli. So I'm gonna actually have you lay back. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to give you an example of the rough and then of the dull. Okay. So this is what the rough looks like, and then this is what the dull looks like. Okay, okay are you ready? Yes. Okay. Rough. Sharp. Sharp, not rough. Sharp. Sharp. Dull. Dull. Okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and do your leg. Sharp. Sharp. Dull. Sharp. Dull. Dull. Good. I'm gonna go ahead and do your arm. Sharp, sharp, dull, dull. Okay, I'm gonna move to your leg. Sharp, sharp, dull, sharp, dull. Okay, good. Um, next, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to test for her to tell me when she feels on your face. So I'm gonna go ahead and touch the dull on your face and you just let me know when you feel it, okay? okay. Okay, so that sensory cranial nerve is intact. Um, next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have you do some facial expressions. Expressions. So the first one I'm going to have you do is smile. Awesome. The second one I'm going to have you do is frown. The next one, eyebrows. Raise your eyebrows. Perfect. Close your eyes super tight. Awesome. And then puff out your cheeks. 
Awesome, so I would say that cranial nerve is also intact. Next, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to place my hands on your face and I'm gonna go ahead and have you clench your teeth. I'm sorry, my hands are cold. Okay, and then I would say that that cranial nerve is intact as well. Um, next, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna check for her trapezius and sternocleidomastoids. So I'm gonna place my hands on your shoulders and you're just gonna go ahead and shrug. Okay, okay go ahead. Okay, awesome. So I would say that her, the findings are equal, stable, and strength is good. So that um, cranial nerve was also intact. Next, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to check her uvula, um, her tongue, and if she has them tonsils. So what I'm gonna have you do is I'm gonna place the light and so I can see, and then I'm gonna have you go, ah. Okay. So go ahead. Uh, okay, so all of that occurred. Um, it was all midline, so I would say that that sensory nerve was intact as well. Um, and then I'm going to have her face this way and I'm going to go behind her. So, I'm not sure how the best way. Do you want me to stand? So could, yeah, actually, I'm gonna have her stand so I can be behind her. I'm gonna have her cover one ear, so I'm gonna have you cover one ear, and then I want you to tell me what you hear. I'm gonna whisper it. Pizza. Okay, for the next one. Ice cream. That was an answer. But okay, so she was able to repeat the words back to me, so that cranial nerve is intact. Um, and then I believe that concludes our assessment. Do you have any questions? No. Okay, thank you very thank much. You. you can end it. Okay, here we go. Hi, my name is Gianna. I'm gonna be your student nurse today. Um, we're gonna go. In, we're gonna be doing some neuro tests. So I'm just gonna be looking at your different cranial nerves, your senses, your smell, um, and then I'm also gonna be looking at some of your reflexes today. Um, can I have your name and your date of birth? Kylie Volks, three twenty one two thousand three. Awesome. And then do you know where you are? The cat house. And then do you know the day of the week? Thursday. Awesome. <laughs> So patient is alert, patient is responsive, she knows where she is, and um, she's able to identify the day of the week. Um, her skin is pale, um, <laughs> um, obviously very alert. <laughs> um, so we're gonna get started. Um, first we're gonna do your um, cranial nerves. We're gonna start with that first, and then we'll end with your uh, reflexes. So I'm gonna start, have you had any change of smell in the past couple days or the past couple weeks? No. No, okay. So her patient's olfactory nerve is intact as she does not have any um, uh, change in smell. And then have you had any head injuries, any um, headaches, any concussions? No. Okay. <laughs> Patient has not uh, presented any cranial issues before, so we're gonna continue. Um, so we're gonna go to your optic nerve now. So that's your cranial nerve number two. Um, so normally we would do a Snellinger test, which you would be 20 feet away uh, from a piece of paper that has a whole bunch of different letters on it, goes big to small, and then you would read, you cover one eye, read as far as you can go, cover the other eye, read again, both eyes, read as far as you can. And if you were uh, above 2030, I would recommend you for an ophthalmologist mm -hmm. or an optometrist, but we don't have that right here. So we are just going to continue. Um, and then, oh my goodness. So we're gonna test your near vision and I'm gonna give you this little chapstick. And if you could read the flavor for me. Very awesome. Thank you so much. So the patient's near vision is intact because she is able to read the flavor of the chapstick and identify correctly. Um, so now we're gonna move on to your um, optimotor senses. 
So you're creating a little three. So that's going to be your eyes. I am going to be shining a light as an FYI. So it is kind of bright. I'm going to give you a warning as to when I do it. But I'm going to do two in one side, two in the other. So just stare off in the distance. You don't have to stare at me. And I'm going to start. So it's coming in. Ooh, just kidding. I need to look at your pupil size. So <laughs> pupil size is a five, I would say. Now I'm going to begin. Okay. Awesome. Blink a little bit. You good? Yeah. Oh, okay. We're going to do the other side. Awesome. And then if you could follow this pen for me with your eyes, not your pen, just your eyes. Okay. Awesome. Thank you. So patients, cranial nerves, three, four, and six are all intact. Um, we know this because she, her pupils are um, reactive to the light, they're equal, and um, they're round, so they're perlas, and um, she can also follow the pen with only her eyes. Now we're going to move to your um, face, so I, it's cranial nerve seven, seven, um, and I'm, I would rewash my hands because I am touching your face. But for now, I'm just going to ask you to relax your face. I'm going to touch it. I'm going to tell you to clench, clench, and then release. And I'm just checking for some symmetry and just to see your strength level. So clench for me. All right, release. Thank you. And then I'm going to use your pencil. And um, this side is going to be, or this side, I'm just going to touch your face in three separate points. So keep your eyes open for me. Do you feel that? Mm -hmm. That, mm -hmm. that, yep. awesome. Now you're gonna close your eyes and you're gonna tell me if you feel everything. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Awesome, thank you. So her um, cranial nerve five is intact because um, she can feel the different senses on her face and then when she clenches, there is symmetry. So now we're gonna move on to seven, I think seven, <laughs> which is your um, glossal, gloss, hmm, cradle of seven. So I'm going to be looking in your mouth. We don't have a tongue depressor, but for all intents and purposes, I'm just going to look in and use my light and just try to press your tongue down on the bottom of, on the bottom of your mouth as hard as you can. Okay. I'm going to say, ah. Um, okay, thank you. So I could actually see her uvula without the tongue depressor, which is really awesome. Um, so good for you, I can see her uvula. But uh, that is intact because I could see her uvula vibrate and then I could see um, her um, tonsils in the back vibrate as she was saying, ah. So that's good. And then we're gonna do your... Um, um, I'm gonna assess the strength of your neck and your shoulders. So I'm gonna put my hand on your face again. I would rewash. <laughs> and then, so I'm gonna put my hand right here and press against it to try to turn your head. Awesome. And on the other side. Awesome. And then try to push against my hands. Perfect. I'm sorry, my hands are so cold. <laughs> okay. So um, her um, muscles are intact. I would give her a five on the muscular scale because she can um, resist and move. And now we're gonna go back and I'm gonna put your feet up here for me. <laughs> and could you just like put your heels down? Like, like your feet like that. Oh, 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 oh. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, like yeah, you're getting yeah, yeah, yeah. a pack here. <laughs> And <laughs> I am going to assess her planner reflex. So I'm just going to take the back of this pencil and we're going to go up and around. Okay. Her left side is negative 
and her right side is also negative. I did retest twice because it did come back negative, but I'm not seeing any plantar reflexes going on. Um, and then I'm just gonna keep your legs there and I'm gonna test your senses. So again, I'm a pencil. I'm gonna have you put your arms right next to you and this side is sharp and this side is dull. So I'm gonna go on both of your arms and both of your legs and just tell me if you feel a sharp or a dull pinch, okay? Close your eyes for me. Okay, so there are a few discrepancies. <laughs> um, it's okay. There are a couple of discrepancies. Um, there were on the left arm and the right arm a couple of mistakes between sharp and dull. So on the legs, patient is able to identify between um, sharp and dull. On the arms, uh, she's moderately able to distinguish between sharp and dull. And then I'm gonna have you put your knees, your feet back on the ground again. And I'm going to use the head of my stethoscope and I'm going to test your reflexes. So if you could back up on the scooch, there you go. Okay. So I'm palpating. And then I'm, there's just going to be a, oh, I got to move over. There's going to be a slight flick. Whoa. <laughs> okay. So her. Patella reflexes, I would give a one. They are weak, but they are there. <laughs> they are there, um, so that's good. And then I'm gonna have you stand up for me. And then you are just going to back up a little bit. And then you're just gonna walk and I'm gonna watch you as you walk, go ahead. Okay, and then turn around. Okay. So patient's walking is symmetrical. Both of her arms are moving opposite sides and she is um, balanced. So I'm gonna have you stand with both your feet together and close your eyes for 20 seconds. Okay, 20 seconds is up. <laughs> um, patient uh, wasn't swaying, so her balance is still very good. And then I'm gonna have you stand on one foot and jump three times for me. Other side. Okay, awesome. And then you can have a seat. <laughs> so the patient is able to stand on one foot and jump. Again, she's able to um, maintain her balance in that. Lastly, I'm going to have you turn around and then cover one ear. And I'm going to step back and I'm going to whisper a word. Okay. And then you're going to guess which word, or you're going to tell me which oh, word I'm saying. Okay, okay ready? I can say it again. Candle? <laughs> no. Let's try the other side. I'm going to use a different word. Dog. Yes. Okay. So, patient has a little bit of trouble hearing on her right side. Sorry, on her left side. <laughs> um, but nothing that can't be fixed, obviously. But, yeah. Um, do you have any questions or concerns? No. Do you need any help with anything before I leave? No. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Come in. Hi, I'm Mia. I'm going to be your nursing student today. How are you? Good, how are you? Good. Can I take your name and date of birth? Yes. It's Anza Johnson, 5'11 and about 3. Oh, perfect. Okay, so, um, are you on any pain today? No. Okay, awesome. Um, today I'm going to be doing a neurological exam, so I'm just going to be testing some of your cognitive um, features and just um, feeling, doing a couple tests on your body. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. Awesome. Great. Um, do you have a history of concussions? No. Okay, awesome. Um, she's upright, she's alert, she's light blue in color. She looks her state of age. Great. Okay. Um, if 
Education, I could score a 15 on the Glasgow Code Scale. Um, do you know where we are today? Yeah, I'm at the doctor's office. Awesome. And do you know what day of the week is? It's Thursday. Okay, a person is oriented to place and time. And Awesome, okay. 
Um, now could you stick your tongue out? Okay, and move it to the side, other side, up, and down. Okay, awesome. And, um, ah, could you lift up the shoulders for me? You turn it over your right and your left shoulder, please. And then up and down. Awesome. All right. So anything else you need today? No. Have a great rest of your day. Thank you. Thanks. Hi, I'm Yaman. I'll be your student minister today. How are you? I'm good. How about you? Good. Thank you for asking. Are you naming pain today? No. All right. Can you tell me your name and date of birth, please? Z Kalina 092502. Awesome. Um, so today we're going to be doing a neurological assessment that's just going to involve um, testing your uh, reflexes, um, balance, sensory functions, and your cranial nerves. Is that okay with you? Yeah. All right. Um, do you have any history of concussions? No. Have you had any recent changes to your um, smell or vision? No. Awesome. So uh, patient is awake and alert. Um, their skin is medium tan, they're pleasant conversive, and they look their stated age. Uh, so first, can you tell me where we are right now? At the College of Nursing Building. All right, and what day of the week is it? Friday. All right, so um, the patient is correctly ori oriented to person, place, and time. Um, and then because they're verbally responding, they're um, responding with their eyes and with their body, um, I would give them a 15 on the Glasgow Coma Scale, so they are um, adequately conscious. Um, okay, next I'm gonna be assessing um, your gait. If you could step on down. Okay, so if you'll come over here with me and just like, we'll walk to the wall. And then uh, the other way. Okay, um, so the patient um, gait was stable, they were standing upright, um, and their arms swing, their arms were not swinging, <laughs> but, um, it wasn't, it probably would have been the opposite of both the legs. Okay, and then, uh, I'm going to assess your cerebral function, if you want to come stand over here. First, can you put your, um, feet together, and then close your eyes, and then I would count to 20 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Um, so the patient was able to keep their balance and they weren't swaying back and forth. So, um, and then next, can you hop on your left leg? A few times. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. And then um, hop on the other leg. Um, and so the patient was able to hop on each leg without falling over, so their um, cerebral function is intact. Um, you can go ahead and sit down. Next, I'm going to be assessing um, your deep tendon reflexes. So first, um, we'll be doing your patellar reflex. Um, so I'm just going to... Um, so the patient needs, um, they extended um, their legs whenever the tendon was hit, so their patellar reflex is intact and I would grade it um, a three. Next, I'm going to be assessing your plantar reflex. Is it okay if I take your shoes off? Yeah, I can. Oh, okay. 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 Thank you. Um, so I'm just going to be.
Um, the patient's feet flinch just a little bit, um, they moved inward, so negative Babinski. Um, okay, next I'm going to be assessing your sensory, your sensory function. Um, so I'm going to use this pencil. This is sharp and this is dull. Mm -hmm. If you just close your eyes and tell me which one um, I'm doing. Can you try? Yeah. Sharp, dull, sharp, sharp, dull, 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 sharp, 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 dull. And then I'm going to move on to your legs. Sharp, dull, 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 sharp, sharp, dull, sharp, dull, sharp, dull, dull, sharp, dull, dull. Okay. Um, so their um, sensory function is intact as they could. Um, differentiate sharp and dull stimuli. Um, okay, so next we're going to move on to the cranial nerves. So the first cranial nerve, have you had any changes to your smell recently? No. For um, cranial nerve number two, we would uh, test visual acuity. We would have a smelling chart. I'd have you stand 20 feet away, um, read to the lowest line possible with one eye, and then the other eye, and then with both eyes uncovered with either um, contacts or glasses if you have them. Um, expected is 2020. If it's worse than 2030, if it's 2030 or worse, we would refer you to the optometrist. Um, next, we're going to assess cranial nerves three, four, and six. And so, um, I'm going to be looking at your eyes. I'm going to shine a light if you could just look straight ahead. Um, so the patient's eyes, um, pupils constricted to light both directly and consensually. Um, the pupils are equal. They are four millimeters in size, I'm sorry. Um, and they're round. And then I'm gonna, if you could follow this one. All right, and then their eyes accommodated. Um, next, if you could, again, follow my pendulum. Um, and the patient was able to um, follow the pen light with just their eyes and without moving their head. And so um, nerves three, four, and six are intact. Um, for cranial nerve number five, I'm going to put my hands on your face if that's okay. That's okay. Um, can you clench your jaw? Perfect. And then um, I'm going to use this pencil. If I, you could close your eyes whenever I touch your face, just tell me whatever you want to do. It. No, 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 no. Okay, perfect. Um, so the patient was able to identify whenever um, they were touched on the face. So their uh, cranial nerve number five is intact. Um, for cranial nerve number seven, can you um, give me a big smile? Can you frown? Puff out your cheeks. Um, raise your eyebrows and uh, squeeze your eyes shut. Okay, so the patient was able to do make all the expressions um, and everything was symmetric and um, and they had no trouble making the expression. So cranial nerve number seven is also intact. Um, for cranial nerve number eight, can you face that wall, please? Um, so I'm gonna whisper a word if you could repeat. Um, whatever you think I said, and then can you cover your left ear? Okay. Water. 
water. Right, and then can you cover your other ear? Backpack. Backpack. Yep, perfect. So the patient was able to um, repeat after me without any issues. They were able to correctly repeat what I said um, when I whispered. So their cranial nerve number eight is intact. And then we're going to go back to um, cranial nerve number two real quick. Can you read this line, please? This is a this is a brief summary only. See syllabus for complete course requirement and description of expectation for mastery one and mastery two. So the patient was able to read 14 inch font from 14 inches away um, without having to adjust. So their cranial nerve number two is still intact. Um, for cranial nerve number nine and 10, um, can you open your mouth and say ah, oh, please? Ah, uh, perfect. Okay, so their um, soft palate um, moved with phonation and so, um, and it moved symmetrically. And so cranial nerves number nine and 10 are intact. Um, for cranial nerve number 11, um, when I put my hand on your face, can you um, go against yes. it? And then I'm gonna put my hands on your shoulders and you could raise them. Perfect. So the patient was able to um, move their face and um, move their shoulders against resistance. So um, their sternocleidal mastoid and trapezius muscles are functioning. Um, I'm sorry, I'll give them a five on the scale. And um, cranial nerve 11 is intact. And for cranial nerve 12, can you um, say light, tight, dynamite? Light, tight, dynamite. Perfect. And can you stick out your tongue? Okay. And then can you move it to the right and the left? Perfect. So the patient was able to um, correctly repeat light, tight, dynamite without any issues, and their tongue was in line, and then it was able to move um, however the patient wanted it to. So cranial nerve 12 is also intact. So that's the end of the neurological assessment. Do you have any questions for me? No. All right. Thank you.